Uh, in a cordial and festive visit to the Vatican last week, President Bush met with Pope Benedict the Sixteenth at the Vatican for private talks, an informal stroll, and a choral performance by the Sistine Chapel Choir. The hour-long visit, June 13th, was the fifth time Bush went to the Vatican for a papal audience and his third meeting with Pope Benedict. Now, because of our incredible, amazing mm. connections... It took a few days for this. It did. Oh, yeah. We were able to get a rare, extreme footage of what will probably be Bush's last meeting with the Pope before his presidency is finally over. Frank, if you would roll that, please. Hey, Pope Benedict, it's great to see you again, man. Uh, by the way, uh, should I call you Pope, your papalness, holy head honcho, or just the popester? <laughs> Pope is fine, Mr. President. Cool. Oh, you're going to love this. I, I googled uh, Pope jokes on the interweb today, and I found lots of WMHs, and that stands for Weapons of Mass Hilarity. <laughs> so maybe you'd like to hear them, maybe you wouldn't. I don't really care. See, I do what I want. Even if it's a horrible idea. So hang on to your funny hat, Pontiff. Here goes. How many popes does it take to screw in a light bulb? Huh? None. Popes are celibate. <laughs> Get it? That means you can't have sex ever. <laughs> Here's another. Did you hear one about the pope? He went to uh, Mount Olive. Popeye beat the crap out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Why did God invent shopping carts, Pope? I don't know. To teach women how to walk on their hind legs. <laughs> See, that's funny because it's sexist. <laughs> Let me ask a question. If a Catholic doesn't pay his exorcist, does he get repossessed? <laughs> hey, hey, uh, what do you get when you mix holy water with prune juice? I don't know. A religious movement. What's the difference between Jesus and a picture of Jesus? It only takes one nail to hang the picture. <laughs> <laughs> that one might be a little iffy. Uh, in the interest of equal time, though, here's a quick Jewish zinger for you, Pope. think you're going to enjoy this. What's the definition of a Jewish dilemma? I don't know. Someone yelling, free ham! <laughs> Say, say, Pope, I, I hear you're disappointed with the declining number of priests in the United States. Now, that is a shame, but look on the bright side. At least it means our justice system's working. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. What did one priest say to the other priest? I don't know. Is that an altar boy under your robe, or you just happen to see me? <laughs> you getting these, priesty? Popey? Pope? Pope, and Pope, Pope. Uh. Hey, what did the priest say to Michael Jackson? said, hey, I saw him first. <laughs> so these two priests are at a bathroom taking a whiz, and one has a nicotine patch on his dong. <laughs> first priest says, hey, isn't that nicotine patch supposed to be on your arm? Second priest says, nope, it's working fine. I'm down to two butts a day. <laughs> <laughs> Those are funny, my son. Thank you, Popper. Now I have a joke for you. Awesome. I'd love to hear your papal punchy. You're from Texas, right? Yeah, I'm from Texas. And since you're the Pope and all, I'll let you mess with it. Hit me. Here goes. Why do Texans like big boobs and tiny hay hays? I don't know. Why? Because they have big mouths and tiny peckers. <laughs> oh, man. That's a good one. Your popesterness. Say, you a drinking man? Nope. Ah, me neither. Wink, wink. Never touch the stuff. Wink, wink. <laughs> I'll meet you in the Vatican Hooters at 6.30. Be sure you wear your drinking robe, because we're getting sauce tonight. Yeehaw! Incredibly rare footage, Very. that right there. Very. President and the Papal. Nice. <laughs> nice. The Papal is the straight man. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> <That's very funny. laughs>